deals of megalithic marvels here. As you enter Peru's Ollante Tambo, one of the first things you notice is this graveyard of toppled megalithic blocks displayed near the entrance. Some of these blocks resemble those seen at places like Pumapunku in Bolivia. Oyante Tambo features a couple of these incredible looking trapezoidal fountains. Now the Inca were said to be experts at channeling water. However, was the original purpose of this structure to move water or did the Inca find it in ruins and retrofit it later for this purpose? And notice the crude stonework that surrounds this superior megalithic work. Towering high above on this mountainous outcropping is what literally appears to be a giant condor. The ancient builders seem to have even shaped the mountain itself. This location is known by the Inca as the Temple of the Condor. And at the bottom here is more mortarless stonework and another water fountain that some say may possess piezoelectric properties. For if you run your finger along the lip of the surface in a swift motion, the flow of water literally stops. These 12 foot tall agricultural terraces sweep up the mountainside and appear to look like a staircase made for giants when viewed from up in the air. After walking across the terracing and ascending high up the steep staircases, you are greeted with these massive multi-ton stone blocks that appear to have been thrown down from their original places due to some ancient cataclysm. If the Inca had constructed this megalithic wall right here, as most of the tour guides would say, then why would the Inca connect these massive blocks together instead of filling in the gaps with these smaller rocks? And here you see what looks like cutouts that were possibly made to hold the blocks together with some sort of ancient clasp. This ancient architectural masterpiece is still standing despite the obvious cataclysm that shook this site long ago. Now the quarry where the granite was mined craft these superstructures came from across the valley and high atop of the next mountaintop that you can see in the distance. How could the megalithic builders have transported 70 ton blocks up and down mountain peaks? Now some say that these vertical looking strips that you see here are some sort of earthquake proof shim that would allow for this wall to move with the earth. Could this be a design or some sort of signature? This is not a natural crack, but an example of some sort of tool that could cut stone and create flat surfaces. This angle here makes it very clear. Here is the mortarless entryway with what looks like Inca repair work on top that is made of small rough stones and clay mortar. Now the level of precision seen here is just incredible. 
and you can see many of the enigmatic knobs popping up all over this area. This polygonal joinery is so precise, you cannot slide a razor blade through the stones. It's almost as if the megalithic builders were able to heat and melt the stone in order to shape it just exactly how they wanted it.